Hello, today we're going to do client review number 12. So we're going to review some commonly mispronounced words in American English. Um, the first word is you. Sometimes um, people might say it with a little bit of a J sound at the beginning, Jew, especially if there's a TH in front of that. So for example, the phrase with you might sound like with Jew, with Jew. Uh, so just remember when that happens that you want to avoid touching your tongue anywhere on the top of your mouth before it gets to the Y in the back. So with you, with you, with you. Don't let your tongue touch on the top with you. It'll make that sound like a J in the middle. So with you, 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 Y sound in the back, tongue in the back, you. Um, let's see here. Attention and instruction. Where's the end in T-I-O-N in English? They have an S-H-U-N kind of sound to them. Shun, shun. So it's attention, instruction. It's not own, like a long O sound, even though there's an O in there. It's a U. Instruction, attention, concentration. Also, Make sure you pronounce the final sound in your words. Um, for example, could, should. Sometimes you might be tempted to drop those when you're speaking quickly, like, you should come with me to the store. You should come with me to the store. There has to be a D in there. You should come with me to the store. You should come with me to the store. I could come with you if you let me. Could, could. Um, don't say, I could go with you. I could go with you. See, there's no D there. We need a D. I could go with you. So just make sure you pronounce your final sounds. Um, the word north. Uh, go north two blocks and then turn right. Go north two blocks and then turn right. Make sure you get that TH sound. Don't say, go north two blocks and then turn right. We have to have that final sound in there to understand what you're saying. The word along, along. So it's not along, it's along with an O, a short O, ah, ah, along. And then the NG on the end is when your tongue goes back and just kind of holds there and has a nasally sound, ng, ng, along. And then cloak, cloak, like you're wearing a cloak. That's a long O, even though it's O-A, it's O, oh, just O, oh. cloak, cloak. Let's see the word witch. Witch has a CH on the end. Ch -ch -ch. If you're confused about SH and CH and J, check out my other video, which I don't remember what it's called, but it's probably called something like how to pronounce CH, SH, and J. Um, so CH, your tongue touches the top of your mouth and pushes hard. SH, it just, it doesn't quite touch and the air comes out and flows like shh. You can hold it out a long time. Shh. CH, you can't hold it out because you got to push hard. Ch, ch, witch. Not wish. Wish is a different word. I wish I had a million dollars. But which is which one? Which one do you choose? Another CH word. Which one do you choose? And you push hard with your tongue for those CH sounds. Vacation. So vacation with a long A for V and K. And then a shun, another shun word, T-I-O-N. So vacation, not vacation. Vacation, vacation. When you have words that begin with S, you might be tempted to put an E in front of it, depending on where you're from. like. Uh, if the word is stronger, you might be tempted to say a stronger, a stronger. Or if the word is school, you might be tempted to say a school, a school. Um, we don't have those sounds in front of the S. It's just stronger, school. I want to go to school. So try to avoid putting extra little schwa sounds in front of words. Ah, uh, might sneak in every now and then. The word her, her, 
let's go to her house. Er, er. Make sure it's an er and not like an air or r. It's got to be her, her. Tongue straight back. The word easy, easy. That S in there is a Z sound, not an S sound. We don't want EC. Um, EC is just not going to sound right. Um, that test was really easy. It's got to be a Z. Easy, easy. And I think that's all for client review number 12. If you would like to book a session with me, you can do that on my website, clarityaccent.com. So hope this helps. Have a good day.